Um, I'm Snez Valjanovska, I play for Canberra United. And thanks for coming down to Sport for Women Day. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> and what is it that, why is it, do you think, that it's important to support events like this? Uh, I think that just getting as many women and, and girls involved in sport, any sport, doesn't really matter, um, is just really important from so many different kind of, um, I guess, aspects. But, you know, trying to get them involved in any kind of sport and activity, you know, getting them out and amongst it, because, it's, it's the, you know, there's so much to it. It's, it's always fun, you know. And what do you get out of your sport? Oh, man, I, I get a lot out of it. Like, I just love playing, um, especially for me in soccer, because it's a team environment. You know, I make so many friends and I have a good time playing. And, it's and you know, even at the at the high level of, you know, the W League, it's it's always just, a, I guess, an overwhelming feeling. And it's, you know, you, you feel good all the time after every game, after every training session. And you, you guys had a pretty good year, <laughs> to put it mildly, um, undefeated through the season, winning the grand final. Um, you know, what kind of a boost do you think that's given to the game locally? Um, I think it's it's amazing. You know, I guess that when you do have a very successful season or a successful, you know, run, you just, you know, it makes you feel better about coming into the next season or coming into the next game. And I think that for our team, you know, it just makes the environment uh, positive and, you know, and we just really want to work hard for each other. So when you're successful, you just, you feel good about it. And how important is the support of the Canberra people to Canberra United? Very. Like we are, we are quite um, lucky here, as as the community is actually really good for us, and um, we get a lot of support um, at our games. We get a lot of people coming out, and just having them there cheering us on, just you really makes us want to do even even better than what we're doing. And you get a lot of attention from the media, particularly the Canberra Times. Do you think that's contributed to the success uh, of the crowds that you get? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the, we have a really good um, media aspect and the, the people that work um, for Canberra United. Um, I think that that's really helped. I mean, I, we even got on the front page of the, Cam uh, the Canberra Times and that was just incredible for us. And I think that just seeing that, you know, women footballers can make it in the media um, gives other people a bit of inspiration as well and, and, and makes them aware of what we do and how hard we work and I think that that's really important. And what do you think it is that other clubs could be doing to um, get that kind of media attention as well? I think trying to get the word out about them, uh, like the teams, and trying to get them to be aware of what they're like, you know, I guess the team can offer to wherever they are, you know, whichever team they are. Um, I think that media is a big thing because it gets people aware of, of you know, the kind of athletes that are in their town and, and you know, just trying to get um, as many people to the games because it really does make a difference when you've got a crowd there and, um, you know, you've got the support network behind you and knowing that you're actually out there and people are watching you, mm -hmm. it makes all the, all the training that you do very much worthwhile. And there's been a bit of talk in recent times uh, from the A-League clubs about um, dropping their women's teams. How do you think that affects the game and, you know, what do you think um, they're trying to achieve by, by doing that? Um, I mean, I don't know really what they're trying to achieve by doing that. I don't think it's going to help them as a club. Um, I think that it's gonna, going to affect the women's game mainly because, you know, it's a bit of a negative um, to, a, to the women's game and we don't, you know, no one wants a negative aspect to, to any kind of football or anything like that. So I think that, you know, by them doing that, it's, it's probably trying to separate the men's and the women's and we're trying to really kind of, you know, collaborate as one at the moment because there really shouldn't be that much of a difference and, you know, there's obviously a lot of difference in the finances and things like that. So um, having the men there as a support, um, even just as like letting them be um, alongside the women is enough, you know, I don't think that dropping the women from the teams like is going to really achieve much and I think that um, they really need to, to re recognise that the women work extremely hard and, you know, we need their, their support as much as um, they might not think so at the moment. <laughs>